forward in the struggle for. On the 7th of August 1990, police officers raided Florence Nagudie Muraga's home, accusing her of conspiring to overthrow the government. They blindfolded her and arrested her for questioning. Moraga became the first woman in Kenya to be detained at the infamous Nyayo House torture chambers. When we reached uh, 26th floor, they removed the blindfolds, and uh, I found myself in a boardroom with about 12 men. All were men. So they started asking me questions about relationships at the University of Nairobi, who I knew wanted to overthrow the government. After being grilled for six hours, Moraga was held at the Langata police station. She would later be charged with sedition. Because the document they said that, <laughs> that they took from my house criticized the government. They said it had an article called uh, Security Homeboys that was criticizing the relationship of his tribe. They entered the North Proseki, but they told me they could arrest me any other time. So you can imagine living with fear, looking your, your, your shoulder to see who is following you. Moraga is not alone. Paolo Aminga and Frederick Gaduku also tell harrowing tales of abuse at the Nyayo House torture chambers. They picked me from here, naked, naked. Took me up, removed the mask. What the, the torturers did was to make sure that they put you on the floor, they tell you to uh, raise your legs up like the Mzea um, Mzea. The, while commemorating 20 years since the opening of the chambers to the public, the Kenya Human Rights Commission announced plans to petition Interior Cabinet Secretary Kidure Kendiki to prevent the destruction of the holding cells. In February 2009, we came here and we found destructions happening. We went, we went to court and we got orders to preserve the chambers because that was the time when the TGRC process was happening. So we said you cannot destroy the evidence which is going to be part of the hearings. So I think we we'll revisit that issue so that this kind of refurbishment is stopped. The former detainees now want the government to set up a museum at the site to honor the history of their struggle and preserve it for posterity. Muriel Adiambo, K24, Nairobi.